Hi there, my name is Cameron Eastham and welcome to my mini documentary about the Canon 750D. Now the Canon 750D has a range of specifications that are ideal for beginners and intermediates. It records at a full resolution of 1080p full HD. It also has the ability to record at 60 frames per second but only when the camera is downrest to 720p. Now recording at 60 fps is great for when you want smooth slow motion footage or if you just want smooth footage in general. I usually find 60 fps ideal when recording drum videos as it shows more movement. The camera also has a 360 degree flip screen LED touchscreen which is great for like getting around the menu system and when you want to be quick and efficient during a video shoot or a photo shoot. The Canon camera also comes with a built-in flash which is great for nighttime photography. It takes really good high quality photos with a 24 megapixel sensor which is a CMOS sensor so it's also important to bear in mind that when you're picking lenses in the future, you bear in mind that it isn't a full frame sensor. The camera comes with an 18 to 55 millimeter stock lens which is great. It takes high quality videos and photos and it is really smooth at focusing. The camera also allows you to be a lot more free with how you want to take your photos and videos by manually changing loads of the settings inside the menus, which is great for when you want to get that style that you're really after. Now I've interviewed several students in college to see what their opinions of the Canon 750D are. They've used several other cameras as well during their time in college, so let's see what they think of the Canon 750D. I just think it's easier to handle than other cameras because I've got different cameras at home and it, that one's just the better, it's better than mine and it's easier for me to use. I chose to use it mainly because it, I, I just thought I wanted a good photo and I needed to you know, get that perfect quality which the 750D has. Simply, simply it's just a very comfortable camera to use. Uh, the screen, you can you can move it anywhere you want, you can vlog with it, you can uh, attach a tripod to it, so it's just really comfortable to, to use in everyday life, I guess, like in, in projects, filming and stuff, it's great. I think just because it just seems like the most easiest to use, it's quite stable, and it's, it's quite lightweight as well, so it, but it's still got like that bit of heaviness to it, so there's not going to be as much camera shake. The autofocus works really well on it when you're filming and um, it's really good for just getting images. It's high quality, very fast, and it just overall works well. I think a lot of people just like the quality of it and how the quality is a lot better than most cameras. And it's easy for people who like to vlog and people like YouTubers, a lot of YouTubers use it. So I think it's better for them. That reason. I think because it's branded as Canon and most people would associate camera brands with Canon being the best, um, even if it's not everyone's opinion. But the 750D, I don't know much about cameras, but um, if I could buy a camera, it would be the 750D rather than the 600 or any of us. I think many people just like it, mainly because Canon is just a popular one, and I think it's kind of in that range where it's kind of like, not too expensive, but also not too cheap, so you know you're getting your quality for money. All I've got to say is, if you really want to, and you really enjoy doing photography, the 750D is the one I recommend for a beginner or someone who's experienced. Maybe for someone who's a professional, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend something better, but for beginners, it's perfect. It's probably the best for value, and in a long in the long run, it will last a lot longer, but longer than other cameras. It's more durable as well. Um, it's, it seems to be most efficient. You can take it around with you anywhere. There's also more accessories and equipment you can buy on other websites that will be able to like camera holders, straps. Uh, lenses and stuff, just so you can keep your camera updated with the latest stuff. I think that's a, that's a good thing about 750D. I recommend it. I highly recommend it. It's not necessarily very cheap, but it's definitely worth it. In conclusion, I believe the 750D is a really reliable and trustworthy camera. The main aspects of the camera that stick out for me is it's easy to use menu system, 
Another feature which I've not touched on is probably the battery life. The battery life lasts quite a while and that's something that's really important to me because when I take videos or when I go and shoot, I'm usually out for several hours and the Canon 750D's battery seems to last a really long time which is great. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this mini documentary. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that this video has possibly helped you decide whether this is the camera for you.